I used to know that girl. That girl used to be a, a black girl. All of a sudden, she changed to yellow CC. Oh, people self. <laughs> are you among those that are castigating ladies that bleached their skin, stigmatizing them? Anyways, my name is Maze Kone. And if this is your first time of watching my content, um, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so anytime I upload a new video, you will be able to get the notification. Sharp, sharp. Uh, I cram this thing while I talk, oh, don't mind me. I beg, hit the subscribe button for me, Jerry. Well, if you're a returning subscriber, um, now and I still they keep me here, all right? <laughs> so thank you for watching my content. <laughs> like subscribe and click the bell button so you can get a notification whenever i upload a new video the topic today is about why i personally will not castigate or blame ladies that bleach their skin okay so let's dive in straight into the video by the simple law of economics we all did economics in high school secondary school i mean um the law of demand and supply. See, you and I can agree that there is generally a high demand for fairer ladies, right? Say the truth now, you know, yourself, you know. There is a high demand for fairer ladies, okay? And the way I think about it is this. Because there is already a demand, there must be a supply. Now, why are you blaming ladies that are trying to create the supply that will match this demand? Okay? See, if you noticed, I tried, or I'm trying not to say darker ladies. There is a reason. The society has a very great role to play or have played a great role. See, words like black, dark, have been associated with or making it look synonymous to evil. You see, you that is watching me right now, eh? If I tell you that your heart is dark, you immediately go into the defensive. Ah, no, ha, I beg go, ha. My heart is clean, please. You see, immediately, the opposite of what you're talking about has to be clean. So the fairer and white and bright things are seen as purity, they are synonymous to purity and modest, modesty, you know. So, that's a psychology or a side that we have about this thing that people automatically don't want to be addressed as a uh, dark, that dark girl right there. She'll be like, especially Nigerians, I trust Nigerians. It's, it's you and your generations that are dark. In fact, I return it back to sender. I cast and bind. Because, because dark is already going into your mind like evil. So, I personally would not blame a lady that is trying to supply this demand. Most traditions still associate virginity with white cloth. White is always associated with purity. When someone dies, they make them wear black to mourn. But because of these things that are happening around us, psychologically, subconsciously, people are trying to move themselves away from, from anything that is black or dark. And you want to blame them, right? Even with the demand thing going on, you would think that guys, you know, guys are the ones controlling the demand, so they should do something about it. Why would you also blame the guys? I always give this example. Um, if you grew up in Nigeria or you're in Nigeria, say you're walking down a street, right? And you see a popo tree. And as you're walking down, the popo tree, the popo, on, you know, all the popo on the tree, they're all green. You, you just look at it, maybe appreciate the size of the popo. They're all big size, medium size, small size, different size of popo. You appreciate them. And just pass. Or maybe it will take the way I need more. People 
people like my mom will go to market and buy a green purple and be like, ah, this purple is even like papa got auto. <laughs> and keep it and in two days or three days the purple will ripe and when you eat it or not talk as sugar. So unless deep people that will understand this purple is still, but it doesn't flash, it's not flashy, it's not, it doesn't go into your eyes. So you, most people will just walk past. Now let's retrace our steps and walk past that road again. But this time around, two of the purple have turned yellow and they are ripe. And as you're walking, the yellow go shine your eye. You know, it, it, it gets, you, you must see it. What happens? You don't just walk past. A lot of, you know, most of us will stop and guess what? We will immediately create a demand for that yellow purple up there. Either by trying to find a way to stone it down or, you know, pluck it or we want to possess it. And in this case, you might as well switch the yellow purple to yellow CC. If you understand where I'm going with this. Now, the guys, don't think you're the focal point of the demand. So because we are the ones country. No. <laughs> let me even tell you. Let me even shock you now. I, I grew up with ladies all my life. I mean, I grew up in a home filled with ladies. <laughs> okay. Now, see. A lady's biggest competition is another lady. See, a lady, a lady will do anything to get that compliment from another lady. A lady will value the compliment another lady gives her 1,000 times more than the value a man gives her. Why? A man's compliment most times might be skewed. They will tell you anything to get you into the old jungle. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the Men will tell you anything. I'm going to go to the house. They will say anything. So, so most times women would read behind the flattery. But when another lady tells you, Hey girl, this your hair is very fine. Damn, where did you buy it from? One neither your hair is fine, no. <laughs> the lady tells you, babe, your skin is popping. Ah, you need to introduce me to the cream you're using, no. <laughs> One day, your skin is popping. Your skin is popping. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button so you can get a notification whenever I upload a new video. I'm telling you the truth. Ah, your face is so fine. You're so fine. Ah, the, ah, baby, you're fine. See, in Igbo language, we say something. It means it's very rare for a lady to praise another lady. They're always in this competitive mood. And so for a lady to come out and give you compliment on this your bag, this your hair, this your clothes, this your shape. This. One day you get it. You got it. Okay? You got it. <laughs> eh? If she say you fine, you fine. If she say you set, you set. Because a guy, a, a guy's compliment might almost at times is skewed. They always want to have a tedium with an app, you more can be an app because a game to 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 get you to the old jungle. Anyways, so when it, it, it's not just about the guys creating the demand, so don't go and crucify the society at large, their fellow women, Onyenka, uh, Chakwa, so beautiful. Women are locked down in this un unvocalized uh, 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 um, competition of, you know, always trying to look good, look better, make sure for you to see that they're not suffering, or that they're popping, or that they're this and that. You know, 
everybody, hmm, let me wear this to pepper. Who are you peppering? Okay, so that's just the way it is. So this video is not necessarily a video to castigate or blame anybody. Like you've seen, I've not blamed anybody. I've only said it is what it is. Okay. If you've been watching the uh, American news, you understand it is what it is. Our Trump, Onyoma. Uh, well, let me not bring politics into this. This section of this video, like I always say, my videos or this channel is about politics, life, and culture. So this episode falls under life. So let me not, let me not intertwine it with politics. Okay, let's leave politics aside. But this video is not to castigate anybody. Or to blame anybody. No. My melanin rich and popping ladies that are proud of their skin. Black is beautiful. Beautiful. See, let me tell you guys something. The melanin rich ladies, okay? You the kind of men you attract is different. You attract you attract mentally sound guys. You attract visionaries. Men who look beyond the brightness of you know yellow going into their eyes and but they look beyond and know just like my mom will look beyond and buy a green purple and know that this purple got a total. they look beyond you know and still grab you and know that this is this, this is a woman of value a woman of substance a woman of beauty okay and my fair ladies it's not like you don't get them too it's just when you're fair, you attract everything, everybody, both the good, the bad, the ugly. It can get too confusing. Okay? So my melanin, rich and popping ladies that are not falling under societal, you know, pressure, peer pressure, uh, um, demands of the society and all that, and are proud to wear their skin and, you know, make it shine and pop and look good. Ooh, ooh. You guys are, you know, the people we need to change the narratives, okay? And to keep the hope alive, to keep the culture alive, to keep... Black is beautiful. They've made this black look so much like it's dirty. But black is original. It's beautiful. It's the, it's the, it's the essence of color. If you take... Someone once said, if you take all color, red, blue, blue and keep mixing, and keep mixing, you end up with black. So, kudos to you guys. Now, for those who go ahead to bleach from black, it's still fine. It's still fine. The only problem I have is Ndine Gonchan Kota. Ndine Agana, you know, Instagram. Anywhere you see, they will tell you to change the color of your Emaburu. Boom. Before you know it, you're looking like a rainbow. If you go and look like a rainbow, we will castigate you. If you if you if you go and bleach and and look like if I'm not more, and look like you know uh, uh, um coat of many colors, babe, we will castigate you. Let me tell you now. <laughs> See, okay, let me be serious. If you must do it, anything worth doing is worth doing well. Okay. If you must bleach your skin, please do it the right way. It's an expensive process, okay? So you have to either save money or work hard and make sure you do the right thing. So that way, if you come out and you look fair and you look fine and we're not seeing uh, um, green and black and brown all over, of course, we'll say, oh, we we'll appreciate you. If you decide to change from, you know, a melanin rich lady to a yellow purple or yellow cc it's okay so long as you do it right mazi has no problem with that okay <laughs> all right but anyway um that brings us to the end of this video and um if you followed me to this extent that means we vibed huh? And you would like to continue to vibe with Mazi. So if you're watching me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. My name is um, Mazi Kene on Instagram. On Twitter, Mazi Oko CC. And please and please and please go to YouTube. Eh? If you're not on YouTube, if you're on YouTube now, nah, 
Swodum subscribe, hit the subscribe button. But if you're not on YouTube, go to YouTube, Mazikene TV, and subscribe now. <laughs> bye bye, Pika.